What's up, everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and I'm back with another Common Rider Geats item, and this is the DX Zombie Breaker, which is the weapon that you get when you use the zombie buckle. And primarily on the box, you have Geats in the zombie form, along with Buffa, who predominantly uses this. Um, and you got the Bandai... Not, not the bottom. This is a long box, by the way. <laughs> got the other side that finishes the shoulder. You got buff up top. Got Geats on the other side. You can see it moves up. So there's that. On this side, it shows you the contents. That's probably the instructions. And that's pretty much it. It does come with its own batteries, which is nice. It does. So you can just play with this right outside of the box. You don't have to get any batteries. And overall, this is just something I think looks really cool. Because a chainsaw sword is just amazing. So I don't know how many more of the weapons I'm going to get. But this one was just, it was a good enough price and I was just like, eh, why not? This could be fun. And honestly, I do think it's a ton of fun. But we'll get to that in a little bit. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping that there's a like a third-party company that makes like upgrade things that will lengthen this blade. Like, I'm really hoping that happens because that would be really cool. And if they do do that, I would cover this on this channel if I have the... If I can get my hands on the upgrade kit. Because that would be really cool to have this, but bigger. Even though this is a pretty decent size. So, let's get the web zombie breaker in here. And we'll see what it does. And here it is. Here's the zombie breaker outside of the box. It is a nice metallicish purple. With um, a metallicish black finish. Which... So, um, Stormy pointed out to me, because I didn't notice right away, but, um, that this is, like, like, specially gripped for, like, the zombie fingers, so when you're using it, you can, like, when you have the zombie hand, it's supposed to be, like, indents for the, like, his, like, the giant claw, which, that's really cool. I never noticed that. You got the little, like, poison orange shoot thing. I just really do like the details because it give, does have a bunch of cool molded details on it on both sides. And as you can see, there's the on and off switch. You got the teeth. It's a little hollow right there. And you got the little bar. So if you have a buckle holder, that can fit in there. So if you want to have your sword holstered on your desired driver, you can use these. Which is pretty neat. And it can't use anything with buckles. It really only can do what's built into it. Like, there's no place to put buckles. So, it's kind of a basic weapon, and the Magnum Shooter is kind of the more interesting of the two. And if you pull this... Yep. It starts to, like, vibrate, so it has, like, a gear thing that's just, like, Meh. So that's kind of funny that they got it to vibrate. Also, we got the little warning sign. Got the trigger. Got the horn. And I wanted to just mention this because I think it's funny. That it does come with a warning of do not force it to go down. Like, it's, it, like, I like how they had to put, like, they don't usually give you paper instructions anymore, but I like how they put this into the box. They were like, don't force it down. It will break the toy. So, let's get to the sounds, because there's not a whole lot. I do like the voice on it. And if you press the button... If you hold the button, you get chainsaw sounds, and that's uh, pretty much it, and you can pull this up. I 
I do like that music. And you can do the tactical break. And that's pretty much all the sounds. So you get the charging up sound when you slide it up. You get the... Then you go into the standby, and then that's when you have to hit the trigger for the tactical break. It's really kind of a basic weapon. And it's definitely nothing that I feel like anyone would need. It doesn't come with any buckles. It can't read them. So this is just, if you think this looks cool... I can recommend it because I do like it. I think it's nice in the hand, a pretty decent size. Like, let's bring in some comparisons. We have the Magnum Shooter with the Zombie Breaker. And hey, look, they both have like the little warnings. That's pretty neat. But yeah, like see, this one has the reader. This one doesn't have anything. If you're comparing them, eh, the Zombie Breaker's a little bit bigger. If you compare it to its rifle mode. But overall, they do look good together. And another example I just had nearby of something that's also really long and big. Um, the Ryuko no Geki. Which, the Ryuko no Geki is bigger than it. It is, like, the spearhead is just a little bit bigger. But, you know. This, this thing is really long anyway. And that's pretty much it for the Zombie Breaker. Like, there's not really much to say or talk about. Like, it doesn't have a reader, so there's no point to bring in the belt or bring in the... Uh, any buckles it just isn't going to do anything with them overall i do like the sounds and i do think this is really cool i like it i'm glad i got this in my collection because i think it's really neat i hope again i hope a third party can make this a little bit bigger because that would be really cool and overall if you like the sword and you're just like oh man i kind of want just a chainsaw sword i can recommend it but if you're just like oh do i need this for my geats collection I'm going to say no. Like, I'm not going to get the Ninja Dueler just because it just doesn't look that interesting to me. And it doesn't really... It's much like this where it doesn't really come with anything that's, like, does anything with buckles or anything. So it's just more... Just This is more for aesthetics and what you want for your collection. And for that, I do like it and I can recommend it. So if you're on the fence, I can say uh, pick it up if you really think it's something you'd want. I think it's a ton of fun, and overall, what else can I ask for a toy? But thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? Um, is there any weapons that you guys are specifically excited to get your hands on? I know there's the like upgrade sword that's coming out soon, and that's pretty much it when I think about it. And the guitar. The guitar looks pretty cool, like um, the beat guitar, but I don't know if I'm going to be picking that up. But, sorry for rambling. Thank you so much for listening. I almost said listening. Thank you so much for watching, and until whatever I do next, bye.